Hello, in this video I will show you how you can backtest your trade new strategies on custom date ranges and unfortunately you cannot do this using uh, basic trade new features but you can pretty easily implement it um, directly in your PineScript code. So here for example I have pretty simple parabolic SR strategy and now I will show you um, how in, in how So here, for example, I have a parabolic SR strategy, pretty simple strategy, and now I will show you how you can, in few pretty simple steps, to add backtesting range to any PineScript strategy. So uh, first step is you have to insert uh, some code. I will uh, share with you in video description. So the pretty good uh, place to insert this code is after your last input here. So here is this code and the code is pretty simple. So first six lines of this code are just inputs. Uh, so these inputs will allow you to change your backtesting range without actually um, changing anything in your code. These two lines, I just uh, create actual date from date parts I, I received from inputs. And last one here, I, uh, I create time condition variable and this variable is true when we are inside our date range and it, it is false if we are outside. So it's very simple. So next step, you have to take this time condition variable and you have to add it to all your entries conditions. So for example, here, I this is my entry condition for, for my long entry. And when this condition is true, I create my order here. So what I have to do is just add and operator and my time condition and the same for my short entry as well. Sometimes you can have your entry condition in when parameter of strategy entry function, for example, like that. So what you have to do is also add time condition to it the same way. Okay, so that's all for my entries. And the last thing I want to do is I want to close all my uh, positions at uh, end of backtesting range. So I can do this pretty quickly with one if statement. So if my time condition is not satisfied, I will just simply um, close close all positions. So that's all. Let's edit the chart and see how does it work. Okay, let's check um, our inputs first. So here we can see our uh, from date and to date in our parameters and we can see now that um, we, we we are we are using uh, entire 2018 as a backtesting range so let's try to check does it work or not so let's go to the list of trades and you can immediately see that our first trade was initiated in the just the first january 2018 something we actually expect and uh, here on chart we can see that this is the last trade we entered and it was 31st December 2018 and here 1st of Jan we closed these positions and after that we have no positions at all. So it seems to work. All, all our trades were initiated inside our backtesting range. So it seems to work. I think that's all for backtesting range. As I said to you, I will share my code uh, in video description. Thank you for watching. Bye.